welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. What I do know is that since I've been doing my low buy, I haven't been doing my hell yeah or whoa, 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 whoa. No. Because where I've made my low buy rules so strict, I didn't want to look at new releases in case I was too tempted. Um, then we had the issues of Brexit ruining my low buy. Low buy? Low buy? Low buy. Um, and then I kind of went into a spending frenzy where I'd been denied for, you know, three whole months. So I kind of I've relaxed my low buy rules slightly. Um, instead of allowing myself one palette or one foundation, I'm allowing myself one foundation up to three palettes a month. Um, and the exceptions, rather than just being Jeffrey's limited editions, the exceptions are any limited editions or pre-orders. If I think that if I don't pre-order them, I'm going to miss out. What I will try and do is on months where I've had a pre-order or a limited edition come in, I will try and either buy fewer palettes that month or fewer palettes the months following it. Either way, I am drastically reducing the amount of makeup that I would normally buy. So, I thought, I don't want to do Hell Yeah Won't No, I need to do something different on a low buy. So, let's move you to the side slightly to allow space for photos. And the new series, because you know this half Welsh bird's going to sing at you again, right? Is buy or ba ba ba. Which hopefully, editing me, will have put a picture of right there. Um, I will, however, put it. I don't know, I might create a new folder. I might create a new playlist for the buy or ba ba ba. I was going to call it pop, purchase or pass, but there's quite a few of those. So I decided on buy or buy, buy, buy. Um, I'll probably start a new playlist for that rather than stick it in the hell yeah, whoa, no, so that um, you know which are the newer ones. Now. Some of the things I'm going to be talking about may be a little bit old, but it's things that have interested me that I want to still include. So this could be quite a long one. Grab a drink. Grab a snack. Make sure the dog's been out for a wee. Make sure the cat's asleep or been fed or not going to annoy you. Put your feet up. Settle in. Get comfy. Right. Wet n Wild have got new primer waters out. Um, it's a three-in-one primer water, so prep, set and refresh. Now, I've got their um, ordinary primer water spray, which I like. Um, but these new ones are scented. They're infused with cucumber, coconut and rose. Or what are they? Rose, cucumber and coconut. Oh, three different ones. Rose, cucumber and coconut. Now, OG viewers will know, if anything's got co... I swear English is my first language, honestly. If anything has got cucumber or coconut in it, I'm interested. Okay, I've got the coconut version of Slay All Day. I've got... Um, I think I've got a cucumber spray over here somewhere that I'd bought. I've got all kinds of stuff that's, you know. Um, we can now get Wet n Wild. We can get them in Beauty Bay, and I believe Boots are doing them as well. But I haven't seen the new scented or, f you know, the new ones that have come over. I can, I've, I can get the ordinary one, but I want to try the new ones. Um, so, yeah. Still waiting for those to come over. Beauty Bay, pull your finger out. Thank you. Staying with Wet n Wild, they've now got a couple of new um, blushes out. They've got Keep It Peachy and a Blazing Berry. I love that they do deep blushes for deeper skin tones. Um, that looks like a 
stunningly, stunningly beautiful colour. Um, and I like the look of both of those, so I really hope they both come over to the UK quite soon. Um, those are basically three bucks. And the setting spray is four bucks. So, loving that, loving that. Uh, moving on to Sugar Pill. Now, these were spoken about back in like November, December last year and I still haven't seen them yet. New shades for Sugar Pill. Now, I've tried the Sugar Pill formula now. There's a film for that in one of my, uh, one of my low-buy films. Um, and I like the formula. And of these new seven colours that are coming out, uh, the yellow one, Voltage, I definitely want to try. The lime green one, called Arsenic, I want to try. Bitter Melon, beautiful teal. You, you, hello, look at my eyes today. Do you think I want to try it? Of course I want to try it. Um, the Cornflower Blue, I'm not, I'm not fussed about because I've got quite a lot of that. Um, but I do like the look of that lilac called Valuria. So, you know, there's, there's four of those new seven colours that I really want to try. But as I said, I've seen nothing about release dates for them yet. Even in the US, let alone over here. So goodness only knows what's happening with that. Uh, Juvie's Place, the Tribe palette. Uh, fortunately, I know that my husband has bought me this for my birthday, which is next Wednesday! Yes, hello! Um, 1st of May, if you're wondering. So, I'm going to be playing with that on this channel very soon, because that's just calling my name in many, many different languages. As I said, I'm skimming through these because some of these are quite old and you've probably seen them from everybody else, but... Just look at those swatches. You wonder why I don't want it? Right, Blush Tribe. Um, back in January, they showed this post on their Insta, which is Pastel Tribe coming soon. Uh, shades named after loyal customers and Blush Tribe family members. Um, I'm really lucky they actually named one of their shades, after, not in this, but one of their loose pigments um, called Angie, the bright red orange neon pigment. It's named after me, which I'm very excited about. Uh, but I am super, super excited by this palette. Um, but again, there's the swatches for it. it. It went very quiet, so I'm not entirely sure whether she's had... Um, feedback from customers that they're not interested, I can't imagine why, um, or whether she's tweaking the formula perhaps, but I really hope we see that soon. Um, I do now have a code for Blush Tribe, it's non-affiliated, I don't earn from it, it's linked in the description box below, so when that does come up, if you want it, you can save yourself 10%. Um, I'm just, I mean originally she was saying spring. I mean, we're now end of April, so we're technically still spring because March, April, May is spring. So uh, I'm hoping it comes out very, very soon. Um, I need to wiggle. Hang on, I'm in pain. I'll probably cut this bit out. Okay. Um, Superdrug put this picture up again back in January of the Makeup Academy new facial primer oils um, tea tree to promote clear skin gold flakes for a luminous finish or the original primer oil for a dewy finish now I haven't tried any of those yet um, I have been trying this revolution super fruit extract serum um, after my moisturizer which I've, I've actually been liking um, and I've got the W7 Fasali dupe coming, but I do like the look of those. Um, 
I, I certainly think not not really it's not something I'm going to buy in the summer but certainly in the winter when um, I've got oily combo skin and the dry parts of my skin do get very very dry so I think that would be great for people who've got dry or stressed skin um, they're normally four quid so that's not a bad price either uh, Certify, who is the sister of Salma, who runs Blush Tribe, the Affinity 2 palette. I have this pre-ordered. I got my dispatch notification Easter Monday, so hopefully that will be with me very soon. And uh, Wow, I really did go ham with blush today, didn't I? Never mind. Um, so I'll be playing with that very soon. I'm loving the proliferation of blue and green eyeshadow palettes around at the moment. Um, I got all my purples that I liked last year and now I'm getting my blues and greens I liked this year, so I'm, I'm a happy girly. Uh, w7 have bought out their own version of the Juno Velour sponge. Um, six quid, so if you wanted to pick one up you can do. I've actually got, um, I bought some from Shop Miss A um, when I was doing an order from them for some more of the uh, blending sponges of theirs that I liked so I'll let you know what I think of the velour sponges once I've given them a proper try out. Uh, Viseart, again this is a, an older, pa older palette because it, it's been out for a couple of months now um, but that's really really calling my name that I that's just beautiful that's the liaison palette and Unlike most purple palettes, it's got a nice lot of cool tone, sort of dusky mauves in there, rather than just the vibrant uh, bright purples and the lilacs and the lavenders. Um, there's the swatches for it, and I, I've now tried the Viseart formula thanks to Kay, because she sent me um, a palette through that she couldn't get on with, and. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to be watching for that to come up on sale, oh, on Beauty Buy soon, please, I hope, because that is just beautiful, um, and that deepest shade isn't black either, it's a, it's a deep navy, so, yeah, I, I really want that one. Um, but at 49 bucks, that's a little bit steep for me at the moment. They also bought out these two mini palettes as well. Um, they bought out a peach one, which I'm not really fussed about. And they bought out the Soleil Petite Pro. Now, bearing in mind that that is probably about the same size as this um, from Wet n Wild or. You know, this from Smashbox might even be smaller than these two. Um, and again, pretty expensive. But again, that colour story is really calling my name. That's just beautiful. Busy Art need to stop creating such stunning palettes or they need to put me on their PR list. <laughs> like that's ever going to happen. Um, it Cosmetics, who have always been renowned for having maybe four or five shades of foundation if you're lucky and it all tends to be the, the white middle class lady that they're aiming at, or gentleman, um, they're now bringing out, or they've bought out, confidence in a foundation with 48 shades. Long wearing velvet matte finish that provides weightless coverage up to 24 hours of wear and hydration, 32 bucks. Now, there's the shade chart, as you can see, lots of little dots. But look at these swatches. Okay, it's still three light arms to two deeper arms, but normally with it cosmetics, you'd get the three light arms and you wouldn't get those two deeper arms at the bottom. Um, so, do you know what? Fair play to them for actually starting to realise that people of colour 
might like to try their stuff as well. Um, and they actually appear to have gone quite light as well if you look at the first four swatches. So that's good too, because I know that I've, I've, when I've swatched stuff I'm like, hmm, that ain't going to work for me. Um, I will admit I have ordered one of their CC creams to try, but I ordered it from QVC because that's the only place in the UK that if it doesn't work for you, you can send it back and get your money back. So I thought, right, okay, let's give this a go, see what it's like. If it doesn't work, I'll send it back and get my money back on it. Um, oh, Sol de Janeiro. I tried some of their Bum Bum Cream and I love it. I love what it does to my skin. I love the smell of it. Just I love the fact it's called Bum Bum Cream. It makes me giggle. They've now launched Bum Bum Sol Oil. Broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen, 80 minute water resistant, illuminating sun protection oil for Brazilian babe skin. Now, no matter how high a sun protection I use, I go from white to lobster and back again. But the thought of having dewy, luminous skin that smells like bum bum cream, yeah, I kind of want that. Even though I'm, I'm going to be glowing like a unicorn in the corner while everybody else gets beautiful tans around me. I kind of want to try that. Uh, Glitty Cosmetics. This was back in February, so I'm not sure if it's launched yet or not. Um, they're a UK indie brand. I've seen quite a few bits on Insta where I've thought, oh, that's quite nice, oh, that's quite nice. haven't actually bitten the bullet yet and bought anything, but I am very interested in this fairy tale blending palette um, it looks to be an all matte palette which is quite nice because normally when you see colours like that they're usually um, shimmers because shimmers are easier to create than mattes so it can be quite difficult to get mattes particularly that bright and not be patchy so um, I may I may just bite the bullet and when that is restocked um, pick one up one month we shall see so that's a potential buy 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 no it's not it's a potential buy not a buy 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 <sighs> I just wanted to sing it you <laughs> now Tarte were on my I'm not talking about you list however they listened to their customers, they launched the Shape Tape Contour cons uh, Face Tape Foundation and they produced it in plenty of shades, uh, which I think it was 50 shades they produced with five different undertones, so they listened, which is much better, and they didn't produce 12 shades of beige, one tan, one caramel and one chocolate and then say you can have the rest of them later when we bother to do it. Um, as you can see they start at 8B porcelain beige which is very fair skin with pink undertones. 8B is actually the shade that I use for my concealer. Um, I'm normally a 16N and I'm a MAC um, NW13 or Fenty 150 or 110 on Maybelline just to give you all an indication and it goes right down to 61 Espresso very deep skin with peach undertones now obviously I don't know how well they've covered the deeper undertone range if you are a person of colour male or female um, and you have an opinion on that please do uh, comment and let us know, educate all of us and let us know whether or not um, you feel they've, they've made a fair approximation. I mean, they can always do more, always do more, but they have at least done more than they did with the original Shape Tape Foundation. So they've now gone from my shit list to the I'm watching you list. Um, and if they slide backwards for any reason that's it they're gone they get one chance and only one um, they've also produced a vegan foundation 
called the Babasu Foundation. Um, it's apparently makeup and skincare in one. Plant powered by a newest ingredient, Babasu, a super balm from the rainforest. I hope they're replanting as often as they're harvesting. Uh, to moisturise, soothe and nourish skin with 30 skincare shades, 5 undertones. Uh, you'll love this formula for its skin loving ingredients and flexible coverage, allowing you to live your day your way. Alright then. Um, of the people that trialled it beforehand, doesn't tell you how many were in the clinical study, I hasten to add, uh, or the consumer panel. Apparently 96% said it's like makeup and skincare combined, and 100% showed improvements in the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles after 10 days. But there could have only been five people in that, and they could all have been under 20, so who knows. Um, there again are the swatches for it. I actually think they've done a much fairer proportion there. Um, you've got the fair, you've got the light, you've got the medium, you've got the tan, and then you've got a mm, getting towards deep. They could do with having another arm on there for deep dark, but it is a start. And there are an equal number of shades, it appears, on each arm. They all appear to have either five or six shades, so, you know. I'm actually quite happy with that. If you are a person of colour and disagree, do please politely explain to me why. Because I'm always happy to listen to someone's opinion when it's proffered in a polite manner. Um, Rude Cosmetics are a indie company um, based in Los Angeles and they say our makeup allows for unapologetic self-expression to be bold, fierce or even rude without self-doubt because you are wearing makeup with an attitude. I have actually picked up one of their palettes to try. I picked up the Tokyo palette. Um, I grabbed it off of Depop. It's a very, very warm neutral with a pop of purple but I will be giving that a try on my channel in uh, probably a couple of weeks time. I've got some other ones that I need to look at first. But I was looking at their Party Animals palettes, which I have to say, called me. I don't know whether it's the cute animals on the front or the fact that they are really well chosen colours in a smaller palette. I'm, I'm definitely preferring smaller palettes these days. Um, Anything bigger than 25 shades, anything anything bigger than this, I'm really not interested in, to be honest. Um, you know, I love my little Snow Angels one. So, yeah. So they've got the uh, Party Animals 10 Eyeshadow Palette in Rue Morse, which has got a little piggy on the front. How cute is that? I, I just love that colour scheme. Um, I love the fact they've got a mix of mattes and shimmers as well. And then you have Rugs Runny, which has got the Unicorn Bunny Rabbit on the front. Loving that. Again, there's your blue-greens that you're looking for. The first one was kind of like your typical rainbow palette. This has got your blue-greens, but for those people who are a little bit scared of them still, you've got your orange and your browns in it. Uh, then we've got Prudence which is a very, very posh, smiley pussycat with lots of blush on her cheeks, so I guess I'm prudent today. Dear Prudence. Um, and this is a much more neutral palette with a pop of purple in there. Um, but again, that, that's a great way if, if you're starting to use colour, adding a pop to your lid maybe, or, you know, it's always a good way to start. And then Rough Rough, which is the dog palette. And I've got to admit, I am loving the look of that one. Yellows and greens on the top and oranges on the bottom. I am super tempted by the Rough Rough palette. 
reminds me very much of the Armed and Dangerous one from Jacqueline Hill from the vault which let's face it was a tad hit and miss kind of about armed and dangerous more like armed and mm, can be dangerous depends on who's using it right um, NYX are coming out with a couple of colourful palettes the Sugar Trip Squad and Licorice Lane um, they look lovely and bright but the issue that I have with NYX I don't have a price on these unfortunately the issue that I have with them is that NYX started off as a very cost-effective drugstore high street brand and I don't know whether they've been trying to reinvent themselves as more high-end um, but their pricing of late has really gone up which has discouraged me from buying it. I think if they were going to do a more prestigious range it would have made sense for them to call it, like Revolution have got Revolution Pro, to call it NYX Pro or NYX Prestige, um, just to differentiate between the two because I, I you know, if I'm looking at a palette and it's 30 quid from NYX, I'm going to sit there and think, well, no, I'd rather spend 30 quid and get one from an indie store or get one from Tarte or Too Faced where I know the quality is going to be good because NYX can be a bit hit and miss with their quality just lately, I've noticed. Um, but it is nice to see more colour. That That is pleasing. Bombshell Cosmetica have the Sour Blast eyeshadow palette. And I'm really liking the look of that. That that that's calling me in many many ways. Um, I don't know how easy it's going to be to get in the UK. Um, probably not very easy. So with a bit of luck, perhaps Cult Beauty or Beauty Bay will pick up Bombshell Cosmetica sometime soon, so that we can uh, access her easily in the UK. Um, I did go on to their website to see exactly how much it was going to cost me. Um, the Sour Blast eyeshadow palette was basically 30 bucks, and then shipping was 14 bucks, so half the price of the palette again to ship it. People in America moan when you have to pay shipping from our UK indie brands. Do you have any idea how much it costs to live in the UK and buy stuff? Talking of Beauty Bay, Ace Beauté is now available at a Beauty Bay. Um, at the moment they've only got the, the long palettes, the sort of 10 or 12 pan palettes um, in the four different varieties. I'm waiting for them to get the 15 pan palette, which has got like the green row and the orange row and then like a neutrally kind of row at the top. I'm waiting for that one to arrive first. Um, before I try them out, but at least we are now going to be able to get hold of those a little bit easier. Nabla um, have uh, brought out their Close Up Futuristic Foundation with innovative weightless ultra buildable texture that gives your skin a three dimensional and naturally radiant matte effect. Radiant matte. Radiant reflects light or has inner glow. Matte does not reflect light. That confuses me. Um, apparently there are 20 shades, one for each of you, really. Uh, they have at least done five in each row, uh, but to be perfectly honest, It's very heavy on the me medium section again, isn't it? Let's be honest here. Um, they're saying the rows are light, medium, tan and deep. To me that's light, medium, medium and deep. Um, but, you know, it does go quite deep, so hopefully you should be able to find a shade close to you and... 
Fingers crossed they'll be expanding and filling in some gaps as they go along. Um, w7 have got, oh, sorry I've got hairs on my chest that are tickling me. From my head, not that I've grown. Good lord. Um, W7 have got their seduced palette, which is um, a dupe for the uh, one of the Anastasia palettes, and I can't think of the name of it for the life of me. Oh dear, it'll come back. Um, but again, it's basically a neutral palette with a pop of coral. But if you wanted that kind of look, but can't afford Anastasia prices, um, some of the W7 ones can take a bit of work to build up, but if you're patient with it, you can get similar looks. So again, if your budget won't stretch, that's, that's a, a good alternative version for you. They normally go for about a tenner. Um, they've also got the Pretty Please palette which, as you can see from the inside of it, is basically the Urban Decay uh, Naked Cherry Palette. Um, again, that was a tenner, I wasn't going to buy it, and then over Easter it went down to half price, so I bought it, because I thought, five quid, I'll give it a go. Because I don't mind. I've got a, quite a few of their tinned palettes. Um, which their tinned ones do tend to be copies of sort of Urban Decay or Anastasia. Um, and I quite like the formula. I'm, I'm not overly keen on the skinny, long um, pan shapes, but unfortunately they're copying Urban Decay's layout, so that's what Urban Decay does. But Yes, so that will be arriving soon, so I can give you my thoughts on that one. Again, if you can't stretch to Urban Decay prices, um, keep an eye on w 7 site. They often have codes floating around or um, special offers like Over Easter where it was half price. They've also got the Life's a Peach Peachy Glow, which um, is their peach face palette. Um, looks to be a setting powder, three, pe three blushes and then maybe a highlighter at the end. Again that's a tenner so you know not a bad price but again I would wait until they've got either a code or a, a sale going. It's worth signing up to their newsletter because they'll often send you a code through that they don't mention on um, their social media straight away so you get the first chance to, to nip in and get stuff before it sells out. They've also bought um, out some overnight lip masks in uh, berry, vanilla, apple and grapefruit. Now I like the look of those. Um, I always wear lip salve to bed. Um, and I like the idea of it being, I'm guessing it's going to be like the Bite Agave sleeping mask. Um, and those are five quid. Um, I wanted to try the vanilla one, but it was out of stock when they had their half price sale on. So, um, although it's only a fiver, I will wait until they have another sale on before I pick that up. And also because I have actually got a lot of uh, lip salves at the moment, so I don't need to buy any more. Trend Mood have bought out um, some more um, blushes. They've got uh, this bronzy one called Penny For You Thoughts, T H O T S, and I'll let you look one up. God, kids, do not look that one up. It's rude. Um, and that would look good as either a blush or a bronzer, shimmery bronzer on deeper skin toned, and also could obviously be used on the eyes. Now, 
they were going to release this one, which I loved the shade. Um, sort of a metallic-y brick red and I thought if you use that lightly enough with a light enough hand that would look stunning probably on, on pretty much all skin tones to be honest but they'd called it Geisha Chic which there was a lot of um, outcry on social media about that because of you know, geishas are not just pretty women with white faces. The, there was an awful lot of horrific things done. You know, sort of foot binding to keep their feet really tiny, and just it's it's not something that should be thrown around willy nilly. Um, and they updated saying. Hey loves, due to the feedback on this post, Fenty Beauty has decided to completely remove this shade from online and in stores until further notice. We'll keep you updated. We appreciate Fenty Beauty's responsiveness to this matter and applaud the continuous evolution of this amazing beauty community. I would imagine they're going to pull it and rename it. Um, because it is a stunning shade. But I am really pleased that they reacted as quickly and as promptly as they did. Um, that's that's the sign of good customer engagement, the fact that you are listening to what your customers are saying um, rather than burying your head in the ground and just thinking, ah, oh, people will forget it in a couple of weeks, there'll be something else to moan about. So fair play Fenty. Makeup breath. Now you may have noticed my brows today are purple. That is because I used one of their new pomades in Royal Purple. Um, they've released a lot of different colours, as you can see from the picture. I'm just popping mine back in its little box because it's easier to see what the colour is because you've got a stripe on the front and a stripe on the top rather than it just being a black lid like all the other pomades of theirs. Um, you can see they've got a white, a black, a burgundy, um, a hot pink, yellow, teal, the purple, the bright blue, the cream and the bright red. Um, I have actually used it in my waterline as well. Uh, long term viewers will know that my body hates putting anything in the waterline and it will probably fade away even before the end of this video but it was there to start with um, they're five quid each so really a good price um, not as stiff as ABH pomades but likewise not too creamy so you don't put too much on your brush to start with um, I actually really enjoyed working with it today the film of this look will probably go up soon so you'll be able to see me using it but this was obviously a buy because I have one um, but yeah it's according to them it's a highly pigmented waxy cream which dries down to a long wearing matte finish so we will see um, and you can actually use it as an eyeshadow base as well so, I mean, I've been using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but um, once I've finished that, I may pick up the cream one and see how it performs as a base. Um, new palettes from Revolution. Uh, funnily enough, the one that I'm wearing on my face at the moment, or my eyes at the moment, is this one, the new Deep Dive palette. Um... Again, this is from their Reloaded range, which are £4 each. Um, the shades that I used, I liked. Uh, some of them took a little bit of building up, but that at least means that then when beginners are using it, it's not going to be too scary for them, because 
you can build the colour up. It didn't take too long to build the colour up at all, so similar to the previous um, Reloaded range, I really, really like it. They've also released the, as we all thought they would, the palettes that were in the Christmas um, exclusive sets. Um, now they bought out Chocolate Cherry, which when I looked at the picture online, I thought, wow, look at all those stunning pinks. So I bought it. And then it arrived, and those stunning pinks are not as pink as I was expecting. Um, they're a lot more muted and mauve than the kind of bright pinks I was looking for. It does smell nice, however. Um, I haven't used this yet on my channel, so I can't say for sure how it performs. Um, if you've used any of their chocolate bar palettes before, you'll know that the majority of them are absolutely fine, but you do sometimes get some shades in them that are a bit hit and miss. Um, so they're on sale for £9 each. So you've got the chocolate cherry which is the pink and red packaging. You've got the red velvet, which is kind of blood sugary-ish, but there's more too much brown for it to be a proper blood sugar one. Uh, there's the strawberry cheesecake, which is far more pastel, and to me it reminds me quite a bit of the pink fizz palette just without the blues that were in Pink Fizz. Um, the S'mores palette, which if you're into your neutrals, you're going to love that one. The Chocolate Praline palette, which is the face palette. Um, I actually have decluttered that to a friend simply because the bronzer and um, the matte bronzer and the shimmery bronzer are a tad too deep for my skin tone so I thought I'd rather she had them and got use out of them than me sitting there and only really using the highlights and the blush out of it. Um, the peanut butter cup which I did get in the chocolate heart palette and I really really like that one. Um, to give you an indication the ones that I got in my chocolate heart palette I've kept the peanut butter decluttered the red velvet to Sophie and I've decluttered the praline to Michaela but I kept this one so if that's any indication to you um, they've also sneak peeked this saying hello sneak peek what do we think we're putting into this green pot now I'm guessing it's not going to be another one of these um, I don't know, maybe it could be a loose pigment perhaps, perhaps they're going to start doing loose pigments, but what I did notice on the top right hand corner of that picture are some skulls. Now, I got their previous ones, so I got the red one, which Stains like buggery, but it's great for a lip stain and it's great for blood effects in at Halloween. I got the one that has like a sort of like a bluey greeny tint. I have the pure white one, and I have the one with the lilac -y bluey tint. Because although I don't really use liquid highlighters that much, they were skulls which absolutely matches my aesthetic and I wanted them <laughs> so now those do not look like highlighter shades let's be honest um, but they do look bloody pretty um, I'll be interested to see what the yellow and the green one are like and whether they can be used um, elsewhere 
on the face, shall we say. Right, moving on. Barry M. I've got some serum mists. I got really excited when I saw this because I saw oh, rum mist. And then read the description and it was serum mist. Um, in hydrating coconut and calming rose and they both have acacia collagen hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 in them um, lightweight mist will keep skin plump and moisturized 5.99 and they're vegan um, so i will probably at the moment in terms of facial sprays i've got uh, these two from Revolution. I've got the caffeine energising one and I've got the super fruit replenishing one. So when I get through one of these I will probably pick up the coconut one because we all know what I'm like about coconut. We had that discussion earlier and you can see I'm sort of just about down to the top of the label on both of those. So um, that is available. Glow Recipe. I wish we could get Glow Recipe easier over here. Um, I really want to try their watermelon sleep mask thing. But they've now bought out a Pineapple Bright Serum. Pineapple is my favourite fruit. So I really want to try this. <coughs> but it's going to be expensive and it's going to be difficult to get over here. And... <sighs> But I really want to try it. If any American millionaires would like to send me a Glow Recipe gift package, I'd be most grateful. I'm joking. I'm not expecting anybody to send me anything. Um, but yeah, that, that looks lush. I really want to give that a go. And talking of pineapples, did you see this on Too Faced? Their pineapple palette, the eyeshadow palette, which I have been lusting after for quite a while, but I'm waiting for it to come into the sale at Christmas. They got a pineapple hand mirror. I really want that too. It looks cheap and nasty, and I don't care, but I think it's really cute. <laughs> Moving on from my pineapple face, uh, BH Cosmetics. Even though Daisy Marquez is in a little bit of scandal herself right now, which I must admit is kind of changing my opinion on whether I want this palette or not. Um, but this is the palette she did in collaboration with BH Cosmetics. The thing that I like about it that's different is that the lid lifts off. Um, it sort of lifts off and then you can turn it sideways and stand it upright so you can kind of use it as um like a, a dressing table mirror kind of thing so that'd be useful for when traveling um and there's some nice colors in there and it's only 18 quid and it's on beauty bay but okay very quickly if you don't know what the scandal is with daisy marquez it, it just i mean you can search for it on youtube there's a crap ton of films out about it but essentially she lied about having sickle cell anemia which can be fatal so that she could go and get a Brazilian butt lift so that it could excuse why she was away from her social media um, I got no time for people that do that so this originally was a buy I think it's now gone into a buy 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 for me but if you can separate the woman from her makeup and you want to support her still, that's available. Might even go down to half price with all these scandals, you never know. Uh, after I spent a bloody fortune getting it from Melt directly, because there was no guarantee it was coming to the UK, Beauty Bay now have smoke sessions for 40 quid. Um, if you're in the EU, Brexit has now been extended again to the 31st of October, so you can still order it from Beauty Bay without getting any customs on arrival. So I suggest you do that as soon as you can, because 
They keep changing the Brexit goal line like it's a piece of elastic. Personally, I wish they'd scrapped the whole damn thing. But, there we go. Um, I, what I will say is that I hope Beauty Bay packaged that really carefully. Because the shimmer shades in there, and six of the eight are shimmers, are so softly packed, mine were broken on arrival. So... You're ordering it from Beauty Bay, make sure you check it very, very carefully and get onto them straight away if there's a problem. Technic Cosmetics have brought out this Summer Glow palette. This reminds me very much of the Colourpop Yes Please palette that I've got. Um, and if I didn't have the Yes Please palette, I would probably be buying this one. Um, if you haven't got Yes Please and you don't want to order from Colourpop because of customs and stuff and 10 bucks shipping then this could be a good buy I I don't know what the formula is going to be like I have used Technic shadows before but not ones in that format I've used the sort of the long strip ones which were okay they, you know you got what you paid for with them basically um, but as I said that could be worth a look if you've got if it appears in any of your local drugstores, go in and have a swatch and see what you think. Um, it's only six quid, so you know your wallet's not going to be stung that hard if it doesn't work out to be too great. Uh, 5050 Makeup, which is an indie brand from the Netherlands, Rotterdam. This could be Rotterdam. Oh, anyway, sorry. I, I, I'm half Welsh. I hear songs in everything. Uh, this is their um, new palette that's coming soon, inspired by the different seasons and their colours. It has seven shimmers, ten mattes and four pressed glitters. Um, now I don't usually like pressed glitters in a palette, unless they're very, very well done. So... Um, I do, however, really like the look of that palette. Uh, there are some beautiful pastels in there. And depending on the price, I could quite possibly pick one of those up. So that's a possible buy. Uh, Jeffrey has bought out his Magic Star highlighters and setting powder. I am actually wearing this one under my eyes today. This is C3 and it is set with uh, Coty Espan, if you're wondering. Uh, now, we all know the hoo-ha about the, the break-in and having the C5s stolen. Now, he did get some C5s redone and they were only available on his site. You couldn't get C5 on Morphe, Beautylish or Beauty Bay. Um, and what he said is the C5 shade will have a special hologram sticker over the top so that you know that when you're buying it you're getting the genuine article and not one of the stolen genuine articles. But only C5 will have that hologram sticker. Um, there's the shade range of them. He did 30 shades uh, plus a white plus a peach and a green corrector. Now, a lot of people have said he hasn't gone deep enough with it. There's not enough of the, the deeper undertones. He's the one who kept saying, if you can't produce the full range of colours at launch, don't do it. Um, admittedly, I wish that there were more deeper shades. However... What he did say on his launch was that he was trying to do shades with undertones that people were finding difficult to find in current concealers. Uh, for example, myself being so pale, normally the lightest concealers are yellow based, but I'm neutral to cool, so I either need a neutral or a cool based one. Um, so what he has tried to do is um, he spoke to a lot of different people about 
what they want but can't get in concealers and that is why his range looks the way it does he will be increasing the range to include shades which you can get from all different kinds of formulas from your Maybelline to your Fenty to your Too Faced to whoever but his, his launch he wanted to focus on shades with undertones that people found difficult to find. Uh, he's also released eight powders um, starting with translucent and going right the way through fair and rose and tan and then the deeper shades as well. Um, so you know what that's not a bad start and uh, so far I'm quite liking the concealer I will report back and let you know. Now one thing that I did see on Twitter, uh, someone called Makeup by Mike, M-Y-K-E, said, so I had a thought, what if ABH had a rainbow palette? Say hello to Spectrum, Norvina, your thoughts, and put this up. Now I gotta be honest, I bought Riviera. The Riviera Kid. Um, if ABH bought this out, I would buy that in a heartbeat. I really would. That, that's a really, really nice rainbow palette. I, I'm, yes. So, Norvina, if you are watching me, because of course you're going to be watching someone who's only got 500 and somewhat subscribers, uh, this is beautiful. Please, if you haven't already got this in uh, a production, could you try? Please and thank you. That would be lovely. Marvellous. <laughs> uh, nearly at the end now, folks. Uh, if you're getting a bit of a numb bum, because I know I am. Um, Stila have got their new spring range out. A um, couple of eyeshadows, some lip glosses and some other bits and pieces. Um, the eyeshadows are 48 quid for 12 eyeshadows. That's more expensive than ABH. Um, I've not used Stila eyeshadows, so I can't say whether it's worth it or not. Um, of the two palettes, the one that I like to look of best is Happy Hour, which looks like that. Um, but looking at it, it looks like only the first four, the first quad, sort of the cream, the black, the mauve and taupe, they look to be the only four mattes in that palette. Now, Regular viewers know, I, I break the rules, I wear all shimmer looks without a problem, but I'm also aware that a lot of people don't. Um, would I personally pay 48 quid for a 12 colour palette that only a third were mattes? No, I wouldn't. Um, so I'm afraid for the eyeshadow palettes, it's a ba ba ba. Lip gloss, I have been getting more into lip glosses recently, I will admit. Um, I picked up one of the lip glasses, the Patrick Star ones. Um, I got the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit High Shine, which I didn't realise was a shiny one until it arrived. I put it on my mouth. Um, and I've also got a one of the cherry wet cherry lipsticks uh, from Lime Crime, I think, over there. Um, so I do like a gloss, and I've got the Alyssa Ashley Elf gloss as well. I love that one. Um, and their glosses are only fourteen quid, so that's a potential buy. I might pick up one of the glosses for the summer, uh, but I'm not paying nearly fifty quid. Or something that's only got four mats in it. Mm -mm, not going to happen. Sorry. 
Um, Elf has bought out some more of their um, 18 pan palettes. They've got the uh, 18 Hit Wonders eyeshadow palette, which looks like that. Now I quite like the look of that, I will admit. Um, 14 quid, not a bad price. I know the previous um, palette they did that was this format was very well received. That was the Opposites Attract palette, I think it was. That was very well received by people, so um, I might pick that one up if I have a month when I've not already used all my low buys up. Um, and they also have the new classics if you're more of a neutrally person. Uh, so they look quite good. Uh, Beauty Bay have got a new brand called Star Skin. And I was looking at this. This is the Biocellulose Second Skin Mask. Now, I've heard quite a bit. This is um, a Korean brand, I believe, or it's based on Korean beauty. Um, and I know these biocellulose masks are proving very, very popular in Korea at the moment. Um, the description of it says it's an innovative sheet mask which smooths and lifts the skin for more youthful appearance. Get your face ready for its close up with this next generation face mask from the skin experts at Star Skin. Infused with a powerful serum complex which utilises coconut for a more youthful appearance, close up firming biocellulized second skin mask firms, lifts and sculpts the skin whilst improving suppleness. It's exclusively formulated with naturally fermented vitamin rich coconut juice. This translucent sheet mask contours closely to the face to deliver powerful visible results. Gravity defying glacier extract works harmoniously with triptide 1 to firm the skin whilst the organic formula is suitable for all skin types. I'm not finished. Coconut hydrates the skin as soy protein offers illuminating benefits and works with wheat protein, lectin and purslane to balance, smooth and firm the skin. The easy to use biocellulose mask delivers exceptional results in just 20 minutes and leaves the skin feeling cool and refreshed with a visibly lifted effect to improve the appearance of dull, sagging and ageing skin. Tip. The leftover serum in the sachet after you've used the face mask can be used to youthfully enhance the neck, cleavage and decolletage. Um, and that is only £8.50. So in terms of cellulose masks, that is one of the cheapest that I've seen. Um, and having researched it, Star Skin have quite good feedback from um, customers saying that their stuff works quite well. So I might treat myself to one of those and then again I might not. Back to Wet n Wild, uh, they're jumping on the jelly bandwagon. I've got one of the Colourpop Jelly Much shadows. Um, they are now bringing out mega jelly eyeshadows to make your eyes pop with their multi-dimensional shine. Find them at Wet n Wild and Ulta. Um, they're only four quid each, or four bucks each, I should say. So I'm really hoping that either Boots or Beauty Bay will bring this across pretty damn quick because I do like the uh, jelly eyeshadow formula. And if it's as good as the Colourpop one and doesn't crease like the Colourpop one, because the Colourpop one does not crease, uh, then I'm going to be a very happy girly. And finally, Oh, she said, trying to unnum her bum. Unique Beauty, E-U-N-I-Q-U-E, -E, Beauty, which again is a UK indie brand that I've seen quite a bit of, um, have bought out their Status Quo mini eyeshadow palettes, £13 each. Girls Trip, Be Bash, Night Out and BF. Um, they look to be two mattes, Three shimmers, which is not a bad. Um, or it might even be two mattes, two shimmers, and a pressed glitter in the middle. Uh, either way, I quite like the look of B Bash 
and I quite like the look of Girls Trip. So again, uh, they're available online at uniquebeauty.com. Uh, if I have a month when I have not used all of my low buys, then I may indulge in one of those and let you know what I think. Oh, no, not and finally. Carmi, it's just flashed up on my screen, is coming out with a new palette with a revolution. Check that out. Now, I liked his first one a lot that he produced. And the question is, will I like the new one? This is the Make Magic palette. Now it looks like that top row looked to be the cream to powder formula that Revolution launched over Christmas. Um, so I am absolutely going to keep my eye out for that and uh, if I get some birthday monies I may end up treating myself to that palette. And that really is at the end of the first edition of Bye or Bye Bye Bye. Let me know what you think of this format. Do you prefer this one or did you prefer the Hell Yeah Well Knows? Um, give me feedback on the things that I talked about. Do you want them? Have you bought them? What do you think of them? Do you like them? Again, if you're a person of colour, I would really appreciate your feedback on um, colour ranges and undertones, etc. Do please educate me and educate my audience and my beautiful 4F family. Right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, do please check that you are still subscribed and if you click the notification bell please check that is still selected and that it still shows all notifications because YouTube are undeleting people and unringing that bell. Really helpful. Superb. Right, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Or should that be bye, bye, bye for now?